This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. Yeah, BG, another yeah. Um, standout talent as well, you know, from New Orleans. Um, yeah, shame about his circumstance, situation, and I'm with, you know, seeing some of these other cases that we hear about down there. You mentioned being in Baton Rouge, you know, um, just on that note, we did hear that there was a lot of, um, I don't want to say pressure from police and stuff, but, and, you know, racism and stuff within, um, you know, when they was at the country clubs and the studios yeah. and stuff. Was that anything that you had to um, encounter as well? As well? Mm, not personally. Um, no, uh, not and then not during that era. Um, but I, I, I learned about um, police in Baton Rouge at a very early age, way before No Limit, because I had an incident where my my oldest brother, um, I watched the police bang his head in the car, and we was just going to go get a piece, a piece of. <laughs> so I already knew that it was racist. But what I can say is, is that I, I went to, um, I went to C's first trial, and um, I didn't go as just support for my friend. I went because I wanted to know. I wanted to know whether or not he did it or not, because that's just the type of person I am. Like, I'm not gonna go for, just because you're my friend, because, you know, I have a brother that got killed. So I know what it's like to lose somebody, but um, going to that trial for me was like, wow. Like, this really somebody life that y'all playing with. Like, it was situations where a, 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 a so-called witness got up on the stand and she would say certain things um, and then the people that she was with would get up on us the, and they would say the total opposite and certain things that she was offered like from the police force certain things that she was being offered like certain protections and and getting expungements and things like that like he got on the stage and said one thing and then the police got up on the stage and said something else to where the judge had that, which is why they got rid of the judge that did that case because the judge was like, now nah, hold up. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was a shit show. No. That's what it was. It was like, it was a shit show. So for me, it was like, wow, y'all really doing this to somebody life and y'all don't, it wasn't anything proven to me, regardless of the fact that he calls himself C murder, regardless of whatever situation he had and had somewhere else. In this particular case, I came to the trial. You did not, you didn't, you didn't prove anything in the trial. If anything, you proved that everything that y'all have was really just a bunch of bullshit that y'all, you know, that y'all forced together. So for me, that's just, it's just a, I, it was just an eye opener. I, I know that Louisiana has one of the biggest um, corrupt um, judicial systems. I do know that, um, which you know, so I, I'm kind of glad that not not just with no limit people, but I know a lot of people personally that have gotten caught up, you know, in the system in Louisiana um, because it's it's extremely corrupt. So, peace, family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on aboutthonline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.